Hi, Bolt Builders, Larry Lalone with Geodesic Aero Light Bolts. Uh, this video we're going to talk about steaming ribs. Uh, we already covered cutting ribs, we talked about making ribs from your rib stock, uh, and now we're going to talk about how to steam them. Uh, the first step is to choose what your steam source is going to be. Uh, the reason this is important is because it may have an impact on what your steam box is going to look like, so let's try and get this straightened out first. Uh, this is an example. I've used all of these building bolts. Uh, an old cast iron kettle with a camp stove. This is a pressure cooker that's been modified, drilled out with a hose, uh, also on a camp stove. And this is just a regular home steam box with the, uh, uh, with the clothes steaming attachment taken off it. All three of these work very well. Uh, these generate a little more steam because they're gas fired. This one generates enough steam to do the ribs. It just takes a little bit longer, not too much longer. And so once you've selected your steam source, then you can build a steam box. Um, this doesn't look like much. It's just a piece of metal tube that's attached to a 1x2. It's got a hole in it where I ran this particular hose up through there, wrapped it in a fireproof uh, or fire-resistant sleeping bag, and it worked just fine for steaming the ribs. Uh, I've, used, uh, I've used a PVC pipe with a nipple threaded into it as a steamer steaming box. This is my current go-to steam box. It's what I use for everything now. And it's just some 1x4s and 1x8s uh, put together. And you see on the inside, it's built so that the ribs uh, stay separated. Now obviously this is just plain untreated wood, so at the end of the steaming process this thing will be all crooked and bent, but you just set it aside. A couple days later it's ready to go again.